What's good, YouTube land? Yes, this is a game that exists named Pokemon Ranger. Yes, they actually did create a game based off the Pokemon Ranger class of trainer. Somehow. And as we'll see in the future, this isn't the only one. <laughs> Although the only one I have is the third, I believe the third in the series, Guardian Signs, but... Yeah, somehow, they're, <laughs> they made more than one of these. But we're here to play the first one and see if it's worth, if it was worth turning into multiple games. Spoilers. Mm. No, I'm not going to give my opinion yet. <laughs> uh, right. i got to have my mouse ready because this, is, this uses the touch screen a bit too much, or some would say. Uh, here we go. I forget which one's the lower screen. But, yes, we will start a new game. We get a little blurb, which you can read. We get an invitation to become a Pokemon Ranger. With some scrolling text that, again, you can read because it's also going to show up. I forget that I'm not on camera. Shows up on both sides of the screen. How convenient. What is this, the uh, Star Wars text crawl? Is this going to summarize, summarize the game? I believe this game is very short. It's been a long time since I've played it. And it's also one thing I think... It's also, I'm pretty sure, very, very linear. Which is not a surprise given it's a Pokemon game and 90% of Pokemon games are linear, but... Most Pokemon games have enough to not make it feel as linear, you know? Stuff to explore, things to do. We'll see. I have to touch myself. Yeah, I just said that. Or do you prefer... Show us on the bear where he touched you. Just about right there. It's got that it's got that classic Game Boy Advance shrinking into the game feel. It's Fall City! Fall City! But do you also have like Springtown and Winter Peninsula or something? Are all your cities gonna be named after uh, seasons? Because, damn it, how do I reference the Four Seasons Hotel without direct... Oh, I did. There we go. I had that same excited feeling whenever we would uh, go shopping uh, growing up. Whenever we'd go into the big city, which for a couple years was uh, St. John, New Brunswick about a year and a half. So whenever we ha whenever we took the road into the uh, big city of St. John, it was always, yay, we're going into the city! Because, frankly, where we lived in New Brunswick, there wasn't a lot. Not like now, where I, where I live in... I live in a big city, and I can go anywhere I want, whatever I want, using the bus. This guy, oh, we've got a sailor who's apparently named Sailor. So his parents definitely uh, forced his career on him from a young age. Can you guys see the mouse? I'm just going to take them. 
I don't know if the mouse is appearing on screen. Oh, and he got seasick. Much like, uh, what's his name? On the U on the SSN. In, uh, good old red and blue. We got a random Lapras, which we can do stuff with later. Not inappropriate stuff, mind you. Yep, we got Krabbies. In this game, we don't actually catch Pokemon in the traditional keep them in a ball as slaves kind of way. And I honestly, I think uh, Pokemon Ranger is the probably the least memorable of the Pokemon spin-offs. Because, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is probably the most famous because it's had a bunch of games and it's a fun mechanic. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Like, Pokemon Conquest, I think, deserves a sequel because it was a fun idea to try out. Wasn't there, like, some other new Pokemon kind of... Uh, Pokemon, well, there are way too many Pokemon spin-offs to count off the top of my head. A lot of which deserved more games than they got, but somehow Pokemon Ranger was the when Pokemon <laughs> Ranger and Mystery Dungeon were the two that probably got the most games outside of the main Pokemon series of games. And this guy's here just casually breaking the fourth wall. I'm using my uh, Xbox controller during this. Because I'd rather sit back on my couch than have to, well, sit, I can use a mouse. Like this. Or I could just I don't have a menu right now. I also don't have a run feature. Uh, good old Snorlax. Largest in the Fiore region. Fiore! No? No, oh, no. Joy Clock. It's a clock that gives you... I don't know how a clock gives you joy. Because when you think about it, time is an artificial construct created by humans, and why do we keep track of it when all it does is lead us to our inevitable death? I don't know. But yay, clocks! Well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe not yet. Really? Everyone wants to comment on my outfit? Jesus. Oh, speaking of burning, there's a Charmander right there. Can I, can I steal your Charmander? Mm, unfortunately, not yet. Oh. I was about to ask, where do I go? But... This. Right. Okay. Oh, it's a little mining. There's just yep, just wingles hanging out. Makes sense. And crabbies, mind you.
who are bucking like chickens. Bok, bok, bok. Does that mean it smells exotic? What does that mean? Yep, everyone's just breaking the fourth wall right now. Apparently everybody knows that we're in a video game. And, um... I don't think that's how you properly... Is that really how you spell Spencer? Like, I... Maybe that's one way to spell Spencer. Jeez, everyone is obsessed with my clothes. Like, calm down. It's not New York Fashion Week. Oh, they've got a town named Ringtown. All right. Blah, 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 blah. I'm also working to slowly edit a playthrough of Pokemon Coliseum, a also a Pokemon spin-off game. Uh, oh. I accidentally skipped over that. Oh no, it's a Houndoom abusing a Minin! Hmm, if it pulled a prank, then shouldn't that be an A-Palm, those bastards? Although I have yet to actually play anything of Detect Detective Pikachu the game. I played the demo and immediately made me hate Apom. Capture Styler. Mm I like that he has an animation when he gets it. That's kind of a little cute thing. Also, so many ellipses and question marks. Yeah, we don't have any idea how to use it. Alright, we get a demo of how to capture. A very similar animation to what we're used to. Except here's the thing that's unique about Pokemon Ranger. Unique for like 10 minutes until people get tired of it. I mean, I never did get tired of it, which is why I played all three games, but... Yeah, they don't expect you to be a perfect drawer. Frankly, I never have been, so like all my circles are very crude and bad looking. And at later points, you actually need a lot of speed. So drawing perfect circles is kind of a waste of time. Oh, right. Bop. Yeah, you can take you take damage by if a Pokemon breaks your capture line. Or my... Actually, I'm thinking of, uh... Guardian Signs. Because there's Ranger, there's Shadows of Almia, and Guardian Signs. Which is... 
In no way a re reference to Reboot, thankfully. Or that awful thing that is we don't consider Reboot. Game over. So is that basically saying that if our stylus gets broken, we're dead? Like, it's the same thing as dying? And now you're explaining it to me again. Blah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Alright. Capture on. Oh god, here we go. Yep, that's going to be how crude it is, because my mouse is on my couch and I'm never going to have perfect... Oh, God. That looked horrible. Yep. You don't keep your Pokemon at all, you just let you calm them down and let them go. Like the Pokemon likes you just a bit too much. Although, that rule about taking Pokemon out of your na their natural habitat is uh, admolished in later games, because not only do you get a partner Pokemon, but you do have to take Pokemon out of their natural habitat. So, yeah, the, not even this own franchise follows its own rules all the time. That Game Freak for you, or whatever those two companies that were in the opening credits... That's Pokemon for you. Yay! We get to skip a tutorial with a, a potentially very boring tutorial for this slightly less boring tutorial. I hereby pledge to come to the aid of those in need and to safeguard nature to the best of my ability as a Pokemon Ranger, along with pride and courage in my heart. Jesus! Well, it's not nearly as good as the Green Lantern Oath, but... I feel like I should have my hand on a Bible for that. <laughs> uh, what do I name myself? Um... No. Uh, how inappropriate can I get? This is the DS era. I think Black and White is the first main series game that you couldn't use in a, inappropriate rude words as a name. So... If I go with ass... This game is ASS! No, I'm not gonna... Hmm... 
thinking of something, trying to be more creative. With my swear words. No, I can't. Ah. Hmm. Hold on. I'm inspired by... Inspired by the Joker. We are Boner! Yes, our name is Boner. Uh, get away! Wait till they get a load of the size of my Boner! <laughs> hey look everyone, it's Boner! Have we got a Boner in the house? Boner? Boner? God damn it, I just real I'm realizing what I'm saying as I'm saying it. <laughs> so complete rookie ranger. Doesn't know left from right yet. Hey! This guy to Ringtown. Mine is coming with us. I do kind of like that animation of him just grabbing on to the ankle of the Fero for dear life. And just going, yep, this is how we're flying. Not getting on its back. Just grab it on and hoping your grip can last for a long time. Like that. Thank you for specifically showing us that. I mean, yeah. Oh, and it ran away from a puzzle. And here we have a chick named So So Lana. I'm not going to say what her name is backwards, but you can imagine it for yourself. Maybe I am. What of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. Hey. Nice to fuck you. I mean, meet you. <laughs> this is Boner! Uh, we are Boner. Boner, Boner, Boner. <laughs> Even she says it! Boner, 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 Boner. Well, I've got a title for this episode. See, she even has a partner Pokemon that's that I think goes against the rules of being a Pokemon Ranger, but whatever. Geez, they cannot be consistent with their rules. I would have figured having a partner was not allowed, but So all your base are belong to me. Meme. This is a dude with a slowpoke. Because, yeah, that makes sense as a partner. I wanted to randomize this game just to see if, how hilarious that would be, but unfortunately, I, I, the universal randomizer I'm, I have would not allow it. So, but after this game, I do have plans for a randomized Nuzlocke of Pokemon White. 
Because I believe I have... No. I have Pokemon White as a physical copy. I have a randomizer playing a Pokemon Black version. And after that, probably at least a randomized, maybe a Nuzlocke of Black 2. Or no, White 2, excuse me. Because I'm trying to do the reverse of the games I have in physical copies. I have White, and I have Black 2. So I'm doing playthroughs of Black and then White 2. God, those names are awkward. Like, freaking White version, Black version, like... Like, I get it, I get it, because it's like red, we had red, blue, and yellow as colors, but like, couldn't you come up with other colors, please? Like, silver and gold and crystal, they're not, they're not classified as colors, because while they are colors, they're also minerals, like ruby, sapphire, and emerald are minerals, diamond and pearl and platinum are minerals, black and white, and then X and Y were just letters. Like, I'm trying to think of the patterns. X and Y. Sun and moon are the sun and the moon. And then sword and shield are weapons, so. You can't say Pokemon follows one pattern. I remember a long time ago there was the argument that, oh, Pokemon's running out of colors, but they've only done colors twice for names of games. Although black and white are very awkward, I wish they'd, yeah, chosen other colors, because, you know, those colors are mainly associated with race, and saying, hey, I've, I've played Pokemon Black version sounds like it's bordering on offensive, but I'm, I'm not, it, I don't think it is, it's just, you know, it feels like getting up to that line. Or even Pokemon White. It's like, hey, what are you playing? I'm playing White versions. What? What? <laughs> but maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Maybe I don't. Know. I probably don't un pro don't know anything about what I'm talking about. But I'm just talking for the sake of talking. So his name is Murph, but we can just call him Murph. What if I called you, um, deserve to be punch in, punched in the face? For three years. Probably because you suck, Murph. And he keeps saying, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, shut up. Okay, if you're saying a slowpoke is faster than you... Hmm. That says everything I need to know about him. He's slower than a slowpoke. Alright. Blah, 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 Spencer. Also, I appreciate the fact that there's nothing going on on the top screen, it's just a black screen. At that point, why was this game even released on the DS other than just... Mm, I don't know. Because they wanted to use a touchscreen. They didn't want to use the top screen at all, just the touchscreen. Alright. Because if we didn't have a ways to go, there wouldn't be a game to play. There wouldn't be any story. Alright, I'm gonna save as soon as I get control again, and we'll... We'll, uh, wrap up. Oh. Yeah, I'm not surprised that that's Murph's animation. I'm really not surprised. Oh. It's, it's, we've got a crisis, but is it on infinite Earth? And more importantly, is it over there? Because over there has to d deal with its own problems. You press your Pokemon.
Boner was assigned a mission. Yep, and we have to do that little jumping animation every single time. Hey! I can handle my own. Shove off. Old man. Freak off, Larry King. I don't want an interview. Asshole. Okay. Everyone, everyone in this game just breaks the fourth wall all the time. Oh, now we have the top screen, and it's even being cut off at the bottom slightly. Damn. Yes, 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 yes. Up smooth operator. Alright. So we got mission, yep. Our styler level is one. We don't have anybody we can release. Glossary. We got stuff, options, map. All right, we're gonna save. It's been an episode. So yeah. I'm going to put the uh, Pokemon TCG playthrough on the back burner because nobody really wants to watch it, so let's see how we do with this, but uh, let me just hold on and save state as well. So yes, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. The story of Boner begins because that's totally not going to be the title of the video, and until next time. Uh, keep it weird. Bye.